Hello and welcome to my kitchen. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make masala puri. These masala puri are very tasty, they're light and flaky and very delicious. And they can be enjoyed with a meal or at tea time or at breakfast with scrambled eggs. So today I'm gonna to teach you some tips and tricks on how to make masala puri and there are some special things that you have to know to make it really well. So let me show you how it's done. Here I have two cups or 300 grams of medium chapati flour. I'm going to add three tablespoons of oil. This is sunflower oil, but you can use corn oil or any vegetable oil. And if there's a little bit left in the tablespoon, that's okay. We can use that right at the end. So just leave that on the side, mix the oil in. Now we're gonna add the spices. I'm gonna add a level teaspoon of red chili powder. You can use more or less if you like. A teaspoon of coriander cumin powder. A teaspoon of ground roasted cumin. A teaspoon of sesame seeds. I'm going to add two teaspoons of this is soji or cream of wheat. I add soji in here just uh, for texture. It makes the texture really nice. So I'm adding two teaspoons. I'm adding one teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. Go ahead and mix that in. I do not use turmeric in this because when you fry the puris, it makes the oil yellow. So if you want to add some, add only a little bit. Then I have two thirds of a cup or 150 ml of hot water. I did put this in the kettle and it's quite hot. I'm just gonna mix that all in here and I'm going to knead the dough after mixing it with a spoon. So you'll end up with a fairly stiff dough and that's how you want it. And just go ahead and add the rest of the oil that's left in that tablespoon to cover this dough with oil. Then the key is that you have to let this dough sit for at least 30 minutes. I let it sit for two hours. What this does is the moisture in the dough it penetrates the uh, molecules in the flour and it makes it really nice and smooth and soft. So your puris come out really well. So go ahead and let this sit. The dough has been sitting for at least two hours now and I'm ready to go ahead and make it. And this is how it will look after it sat for a couple of hours. And you can see that it just, it, you'll feel the difference from when you actually originally kneaded the dough and how it feels now. So I basically roll it into about an inch tube and then break off about an inch. You just break off a bit and you should be able to close your hand completely and feel a little bit of a gap in there. And it doesn't matter if they're a little bit bigger, it's okay, your puris will just be a little bit big. When you're frying puri, you have to make sure your oil is really hot. Once you've made all the balls, cover this with cling film so they don't dry out. 22 little balls here, so I'm gonna be making 22 puri. The first step is to get one of the balls and just roll it in your hands and make it flat. You really want it very nice and flat like this. 
Then I'm going to roll this on my countertop, but you can do it on a platter if you have one. So just roll it straight up and down, turn it, roll, turn, roll, turn, roll, turn. And you don't want it too thin. You want it about three millimeters thick. If it's too thin, it will not rise. And then just put that on the side and get your next ball. Again, roll it nice and flat in your hands like that. Up and down, 90 degree turn, up and down, 90 degree turn, up and down. Until it's about three millimeters thick. There you go, That's another one. So just keep doing that and get as many ready as you can while the oil is heating up. So you want to make sure that the oil you use is fresh oil. Don't use any used oil because uh, the puris will become greasy. And make sure you have a tray with a paper towel in it and a spatula to remove the uh, puris while you're frying them. So I'm going to test the oil to see if it's ready. And to do that, you just want to take some of the dough and just throw it in. And that looks, that looks like it's ready, so I'm going to start frying now. Once you've rolled the puri, look at how I'm doing it. I am not turning it around, I'm just rolling it on the same surface, the top surface. And once you've rolled it, you're gonna place it with that top surface on top because when you put the puri inside the oil, you're gonna flip it around so the top surface is on the bottom, like this. And it should respond like that. That tells you that the oil is hot enough. You can press it gently and uh, wait till it puffs up. And after a few seconds, once it's puffed up, you turn it over and you only turn it over one time. If you keep turning it, your booties will be greasy. Guys, if you're finding these videos and these tips that I'm giving you useful, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. This has fried for about 30 seconds and because my oil is hot you don't want to leave it too long in there otherwise it will go really brown you just put it on the paper towel throw another one in You can add more than one, but make sure both of them you put in upside down. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you're enjoying all the tips that I'm giving you and finding it useful, please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. I'll see you again soon for some more cooking inspiration.